Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot, I hope you're well. Um, this is your love reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your oracle card to see what we get Cancer in terms of love, romance, relationships. So what is the message for Cancer please? In terms of love, romance, relationships, May 2021 please. Message that Cancer needs to hear, thank you. Love, romance, relationships. Ooh. Okay, oh, that's nice. Like the gateway energy. New beginnings, Cancer. We have new beginnings here. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify, go deeper into the message. You know by now we always do. Uh, we'll start with the challenge or issue in terms of love, romance, relationships, advice from spirit and the near future outcome for me. Okay, so what do we have? Cancer, please, angel spirits, guides. Remember, it won't resonate with everybody, Cancer. I say this all the time, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have, angel spirits, guides for Cancer, please? That is in terms of love, romance, relationships. For May 2021, please. What is it that Cancer needs to hear the most for May? That flew out. <laughs> Two of coins in the challenge position. Three of coins. Oh, wow. Nine of cups, Cancer. That is lovely. Okay, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux and the Tarot of Dreams to clarify. Okay. So can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer, please, in terms of love? Love only, please, May 2021, thank you. Love only, May 2021. So we have the Eight of Wands. Five of Coins. Clarifies the Three of Coins. And the Six of Swords. Very nice energy. Um, oh, the Lovers. Card of Gemini. It's not solely to do with the Gemini. It's just that is the Major Arcana here. Okay. So there is a new beginning here, next phase, new level, and it definitely feels like you're heading in that direction. It's interesting. <laughs> I don't normally see this. I mean, it is Aquarian energy, so I always see it as kind of new world energy, the, the Six of Swords. But you can see the gateway as well, can't you, on that card, which is interesting that that card has come out very much mimicking this one here. <laughs> um, So we have a conversation, it is going to bring change, but this, there's a challenge here in the sense that, you know, you might be weighing up your options, there may be choices available to you. You might be, I mean, you know, in a sense, this can be about just trying to get back on track, you know, trying to get out there. You know, there's a, there's a feeling of adapting to your circumstances with these energies. So, you know, this person juggles and, dan and sometimes dances or walks the tightrope. So there's, there's a kind of feeling here that you, 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 you've just got a lot on or you're doing a lot of things or you might be adapting in your circumstances. And it might well be to just opening up your life again, because I have Jupiterian energy in both of these cards. You know, the Eight of Wands is, it is about progress. It is about a shift, a change coming in. Uh, for me, you might be doing some online dating. There could be some conversations here that bring a shift as well. Um, opportunity, connections, you know, that kind of energy. It feels very exciting, all of the blue. And it is a swift change energy, but it feels like you've just been uh, adapting, you know, or um, uh, slowly adapting to open your life up again. And that's definitely what I'm getting here, Cancer. Slowly adapting to open your life up again, which is beautiful. 
because it feels certainly with this five of pentacles this can be a card of being outcast rejected feeling lack um insufficiency feeling out in the cold it's a it's a card that it's it's, it's almost kind of like a, a minor roadblock card in the sense that it, it it can be very consuming the fives they're very disruptive energies so something has definitely disrupted your life but it feels in this situation there is an opportunity to rebuild it now um where you have felt lack this is about putting your energy and taking action in the right direction and it feels like you're ready to open up your life here open up to new opportunity new conversations new people coming into your life and i can certainly tell you there's definitely somebody new coming in and the three of, of pentacles you might have moved home I mean, this can also be about rebuilding your life as well. You see, we've gone from the two to the three of pentacles. Um, we also can symbolize teamwork. So finding somebody with common goals, common interests, uh, where you're finding a firm foundation with somebody to build on a relationship. So it feels in this energy, you've either been adapting, opening your life up again, rebuilding, or there's definitely an energy of something solid, stable, secure is being formed here through some connection you're making, some information or conversation that's coming to you. It definitely feels for some of you, I mean, this can be a distance thing. For me, it can also be online. It can also be in person as well, you know. Um, but it feels like there's swift change coming your way because you've just been taking the steps to open up again it feels like to give it a go you know give the dating scene a go again and that's definitely what I'm feeling for you and the message is there's a new beginning coming and I do like that <laughs> I definitely see that I love that energy the six of swords going through that gateway um this is moving from troubled times to calmer waters, something that has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. It definitely feels like you're putting the worst behind you now and you're heading towards, what are you heading towards? Your heart's desire, your wish coming true. Um, celebration, reasons to be thankful, but all of those cups being filled with happiness, joy, love. So it definitely feels in this energy, there is a new heart's desire. I mean, it's a lovely energy, you know, and a new powerful connection coming your way. The lovers can be a choice in love sometimes, but it feels in this situation, you are heading towards new love. Yeah, such a nice card. You know, Cancer, the lovers card is all about harmony. It's not necessarily that these two people they have common interests where it counts, but they can be like a jigsaw where, you know, the edges aren't identical, but they fit perfectly, you know? So it is that kind of energy of everyone's, no one's perfect, everybody has imperfections, but it's whether you're perfect together, you know? It's that kind of energy with the lovers. And it definitely feels in this situation, there is some kind of like stable foundation being born here manifesting some kind of new relationship you know very very beautiful energy and this is guided energy this is divinely guided energy because sometimes we see Archangel Raphael here which is about healing and health you know so bringing into your life some kind of healthy relationship it feels um, very lo very lovely energy cancer I have to say yeah beautiful love love card Okay, so I'm going to pull you a final card, final message for Cancer, please, in love, romance, relationships. Final message for Cancer in terms of love, romance, relationships. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. We have the snake. Now, the snake is, is, is very much for me about shedding an old skin, you know, and, it, and embracing the new. So I love this energy for you. We have Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. I love it. Because it definitely feels some of you were hit with 
self-esteem, self-worth issues as well, potentially. But you're definitely getting that back. There's definitely some kind of rebuild going on. And it feels some kind of solid relationship is forming here. I love the fact that the Nine of Cups is coming as well, because it just feels... Uh, this is you're, you're 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 moving towards exactly where you need to be, and that's what the universe is telling you. You're being guided towards exactly where you need to be. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all, and I will see you next time. Thank you.